you know, in retrospect, when I look back, I think being born middle class was the best thing that happened to me because I found a unique voice which was very rooted. And if you go to Calcutta, if you go to one of the, any one of the old homes, you'll see very simple homes from the outside, but very ornate and ostentatious from the inside. People like collecting things, memories, stacking on their walls, stacking on their bedsides, on their cabinets. And I think the language of Sabesachi has really been born from what I've seen of Calcutta. So Hamish reached out to me during the pandemic about this exhibition that he was going to mount uh, uh, here in India. And I was very excited and curious at the same time because I've always been a big fan of Hamish. So at the Indian fashion exhibit, I wanted to do something, uh, build something from my archives, which was actually my first uh, attempt at creating something that was a international design language but very rooted in Indian uh, craftsmanship. And I did a version of that for the exhibit. Nita and me go a long way, you know, and I think uh, Nita has been a great patron of uh, Indian handicraft, Indian textiles, and every time I do something for her, you know, it's, I think it's probably collaborative will, but we make sure that we create beautiful Indian products. Whether it's the Oscars, whether it's cricket, whether, whether it's tennis, whether it's food, art, entertainment, India is taking massive steps worldwide, including fashion, and that's the way it should be. I will see you at the India in Fashion Exhibit at the Nita Mukesh Ambani Cultural Centre.